Hey guys, how are you doing? In this episode, we are going to see about iOS 17.6 and watchOS 10.6 user feedbacks, the bugs they have reported and the fixes that you can try to fix those problems. Apple released iOS 17.6 and watchOS 10.6 almost a week ago and just a couple of days before I have asked my audience about how the overall performance, the entire week usage and they have shared their experience regarding the overall performance and the battery performance and whether they have experienced any issues or not. So model wise, as you can see from iPhone SE second generation, iPhone 11, 12 mini, users have commented and most of them have said that the performance is similar to iOS 17.5.1 and some users using iPhone 14 Pro Max and iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max users reported that they are experiencing battery drain problem. As a basic troubleshooting step, you can perform all settings reset once and see whether the problem is fixed or not. If you are still experiencing the problem, then it is recommended to perform an iOS restore after taking full backup of your iPhone. If the phone is under warranty, you can take it to Apple Service Center. If you have a laptop or a Mac computer, you can do it yourself. From the user comments, you can see that with the iPhone 11 and iPhone 15 Pro Max, some users have mentioned that they are not experiencing any issue, the overall performance is good and no battery drain related issues and so on. And in this comment, I have to translate it for you, he have mentioned it in Tamil, that the battery drain problem has been fixed with the latest iOS 17.6 update for him, one year 10 months and the battery health is right now at 88%. He is following the tips I have suggested, I leave a link to the battery health tips that you can follow, just a couple of tips you can follow to maintain your iPhone's battery health. If you want it, you can check it in the description and in the first comment. And another user I've said, no issue with the battery performance and the battery health and all, but the apps hang intermittently, which could be the problem related to memory management with the iOS. So perform all settings reset once or a simple restart of the iPhone itself will help fixing such issues. As a last step, if you haven't done iOS Restore recently, then it is recommended to take a full backup of your iPhone and do the iOS Restore. That will help to fix the issue. And there are a couple more bugs users have mentioned in our question and answer forum regarding you know the issues that they're experiencing after updating to iOS 17.6. I'm currently using iPhone 12 as my primary iPhone. Recently, I have sold my iPhone 15 Plus and I'm planning to upgrade to iPhone 15 Pro Max to use for next few months. I'm not in a plan to upgrade to iPhone 16 at present. As I'm finding good deals and discounts, I think 15 Pro Max will be sufficient for my usage. So one bug that users have experienced is some app icons are duplicating on their home screen. As you can see, the YouTube app was showing two times on the home screen and such duplicate app icons on home screen problem can be fixed with a simple restart, which is of course iOS 17.6 specific bug and do a simple restart or a forced restart and that will help you to fix such duplicate app icons issue. And the second problem that the users are experiencing is some applications notifications are not working properly. We do have a dedicated video about it. You can search our channel if you are experiencing any iPhone related problems. So the same steps have to be followed, which I have said in the separate video. Navigate inside the settings application, general, scroll to the last and you will find the transfer or reset and then tap on the reset, you will get the option reset location and privacy settings as the last one. So you need to perform the location and privacy settings reset that will help you to fix any apps related notification problem. This problem, you know, the bug may not be happening for all the users. Very limited number of users may experience it after certain iOS update. So in such cases, this location and privacy settings reset will definitely be helpful to fix it. The next important update is watchOS 10.6. Since the release of watchOS 10, the battery drain was, you know, quite high with my latest watch Apple Watch Series 9 and I was waiting for Apple to fix it. I have reported the bug, submitted feedback, but you know, at last with the watchOS 10.6, I'm able to notice good battery performance overall. As you can see from the battery graph, the idle time usage shows a steady graph and you know, when I started to use the watch and you know, over the day period or while fitness and activity tracking, the watch battery drains started to reduce gradually. 
previously it was like a slanting you know continuously it was dropping and i was getting one day or maximum 1.5 days and right now i'm able to experience two days to 2.5 days with few calls and messages usage on my apple watch series 9 so do share your thoughts about both the iphone and apple watch performance after the latest update iOS 17.6 and watchOS 10.6 in the comments that may be helpful for other users who are thinking about updating their iPhone and Apple Watch. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks. Have a wonderful day.